Hi guys, welcome back to Lost in My Library. My name's Kate. Today I have an unboxing of Authentic Books. This is the monthly subscription box where you choose the book. Something just fell out of the box. Um, so I guess we're going to start with this. Um, it's a little card that says sound, so it's uh, a book playlist. This is the book, it's, uh, Yellow Face by R.F. Kwong. Um, so if you want to listen to a playlist. There we go. Of course we get a bookmark, um, inspired by the book itself. There's a quote on the back. It says, I'm terrified that the only thing I'll ever be remembered for and the only method by which I can produce good work is slipping on someone else's skin. Interesting. And then we have the spoiler card. Or not card, but you get it. Okay. I'm seeing something in a bag. So let's take a look. Something in a box. It says lip gloss. Oh, it is. Makeup with an attitude. It's a lipstick. Am I going to swatch something on camera? We never have makeup. We never get makeup. This is not a makeup channel. I'm going to swatch. I'll swatch it. Ooh, that is, I don't know, you can't really tell on camera, but that is a deep red. Um, but I think that might could work. Um, I'm not a makeup channel, so I don't really know how to swatch. <laughs> That's just what I see people do. Now I'm going to have a red spot on my arm of course we get a candle every month that um authentic books does themselves uh so this is bell infidelis uh inspired by yellow face uh sense of georgetown spring and sweet delusion It's nice and fresh. That's just like the best way I can explain that. It's just fresh. It smells like spring. It smells fresh. Okay, next thing I'm seeing is the tea, I'm going to assume. Ooh. It is pink from Pinky Up. It's a uh, red berry cooler. Dessert Rubos tea. Um, that sounds actually really nice, and it seems like it's supposed to be for iced tea. I love iced tea. Love it. I, I live in the South, so, um, I absolutely adore iced tea. Probably more than hot tea. No, not probably more. More than a hot tea. I love some iced tea. Sweet iced tea. So... There's that. Oh, here is the chocolate. It is the nightcap. It is dark chocolate and whiskey. I'm not sure how much I'm going to like that, but it's from Compartes. Um, Compartes makes some of the best chocolate ever made. Like, they, the um, cookies and cream is, like, my favorite, all-time favorite chocolate. It's so good get some if you've never tried it. And I believe it's vegan. I believe it's vegan. Yes, vegan and gluten free. So, um, this stuff is good. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's very good. Alright, next I'm seeing something in an authentic books pouch thing. What is this? It is 
Pineapple Citrus Literary Elitist Linen Spray. And it looks like it's um, Authentic Books itself. It smells pretty nice. Um, yeah, just pineapple citrus and you spray it on your linens. I think we have one more thing before the book, and it's just a little journal. A little notebook. That's really nice. Um, from Seedlings, maybe? From the back. The art's really cool. I dig the art. The art style is really cool. Um, yeah. And I think that is it. Except for the book. Which is, of course, Yellow Face by R.F. Kwong. I chose Yellow Face because um, I read Babel this year. And Babel was is like my number one book that I've read this year so I wanted to read another R. Kwong um, book. It says White Lies, Dark Humor, Deadly Consequences. Best-selling sensation Juniper Song is not who she says she is. She didn't write the book she claimed she wrote and she is most certainly not Asian American. In this chilling and hilariously cutting novel from the number one New York Times best-selling author, R. F. Kwong. Authors June Hayward and Athena Liu were supposed to be twin rising stars, but Athena's a lit literary darling. June Hayward is literally nobody. Who wants stories about basic white girls, June thinks. But when June witnesses Athena's death in a freak accident, she acts on impulse. She steals Athena's just-finished masterpiece, an experimental novel about the unsung contributions of Chinese laborers during World War I. So, what if June edits Athena's novel and sends it to her agent as her own work? So, what if she lets her new publisher rebrand her as Juniper Song, complete with an ambiguously ethnic author photo? Does this piece of history deserve to be told, whoever the teller? That's what June claims, and the New York Times bestseller list seems to agree. But June can't get away from Athena's shadow, and emerging evidence threatens to bring J June's stolen success around her. As June braces to protect her secret, she discovers exactly how far she will go to keep what she th thinks she deserves. With its totally immersive first-person voice, Yellow Face grapples with questions of diversity, racism, and cultural, cultural appropriation, as well as the terrifying alienation of social media. R. Kwong's novel is timely, razor-sharp, and em eminently readable. Very interested. Because, like, the last babble was very literary heavy um about writing and language and grammar this is about the book publishing industry and i'm just it's very interesting what R. kong has to say about um racism and the english speaking uh, publishing and um language and everything so it's very interesting also don't have very many yellow books so this is very very yellow um yeah so i'm very interested in that so let's go over what we got in here so first thing we got of course um the site is they put the they put the net wrong book book name. Uh, that is not the book I got. I did not, in fact, get the Lonely Heart Book Club. I got Yellow Face. Uh, the picture is correct, but the book name is wrong. Um, got Hamboard Soy 
Candle, made by Authentic Books. Um, Bell and Fidelis was inspired by Fresh Spring and Georgetown with sweet notes of sweet citrus, uh, citrus and warm oak moss. Our candles are always hand stirred and poured in the Authentic Books studio using non-toxic ingredients. And then we got the taste number one, which is the tea, pinky up, red berry cooler, loose leaf iced tea. And then we got nightcap whiskey, dark chocolate bar. Uh, Camarte's nightcap whiskey, dark chocolate bar is infused with the finest whiskey. Deep dark chocolate lures you in closer as whiskey and chocolate collide in this tempting delight. And then we got the Notorious Liquid Lip Color from Rude Cosmes Cosmetics. Notorious Liquid Lip Color by Rude with high coverage and long-lasting wear. is notorious as you wanted it to be. And then number two says it's supposed to be a Lemon and Lime Essentials Reed Diffuser. But I think it was replaced with this. Because I did not get that. I got linen spray. Um, and then we got the iconic ladies notebook. Embellished with full details, these books have 64 pages each and are painted together with plantable seed paper packaging that is biodegradable and embedded with seeds. That's really cool. Um, and then we got the book cocktail and food of the month. Uh, we have gold fashioned, um, and pand pandan camp pan pandan pancakes. That's how you say it, pandan, uh, which is I believe sh some a type of sugar. I believe is what pandan is. Could be very wrong. Um, and then we got something from the people who made the reed diffuser that I did not get. So, cool. Great. Love that. So, um, that's it. And of course, 5% of my, of every membership is donated to Adopt a Classroom Foundation, supporting children's education and their educators. So, there's that. Uh, that has been the box. I th think there's there's definitely been stronger boxes. But, I do like the, the lip color. I will use this. I like, I like this. Um, it's very much <laughs> still there. Um, so... There's that. And I like the tea. I think I'm going to like the tea. Don't know about the chocolate. Um, and I have way too many journals. <laughs> so, I thank you guys so much for watching. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Do all the YouTube things. Go be a good cabbage today. Do something kind for someone, even if that is for yourself. Because self-care is important. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.